here in Phoenix, Arizona. Sean Sharif, RJ Choppy, and we have now unleashed Bobby Belt on the wireless. What is going on here with these freaking it's, uh, it's, they, They're literally... It's pajama day. It's pajama day at the Super Bowl. Some chips. Thanks, bro. Appreciate okay, it. Are you, are you a Big Eagles fan? Born and bred, uh, no. long-time season ticket holder. Yeah. Born and bred. Are, you, are nice. you here with a Philly station, or are you just a Philly fan who's showing your pride? No, I'm here with a Philly station. I'm here with the Fanatic and uh, WMMR out of Philly. Oh, I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very uh, – the they, They've been very loud. They've been doing the E-A-G-L-E-S chant all week. and hey. yeah, It's, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. really an irrational confidence. Um, no, it's just it's just pride. I don't. I wouldn't even say it's a confidence thing. It's just a, you know we have team spirit. Bobby, get you the know, leader you... of the mob oh, over yes, here. I do. Thank you for the chips. Get... I enjoy them a, a great deal. Let me drop this. Hold on. Okay, threw get... that down. Get, get the leader of the mob they over are, here. They are good chips. They're really good chips. Ooh, uh, they look delicious. Okay, so you brought us some cigars. Are they laced with anything? No, they are Cubans that I brought along. I always bring them to Radio Row to lure the better guests over because <laughs> PR people tend to be whores. Jeez. So they can be bribed. So I got tired of folding up 20s and doing the golden handshake. So I started to bring the Cubans and they've been a big hit. And we love our friends from Dallas at 105.3 The Fan. Oh, uh, that's so nice. You're, 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 I think you're talking nice just because right now we're in a, a less enviable position than you are. Well, that is the truth and I'm enjoying that part of it. But also I know that their morning show could kick my morning show's ass. Uh, <laughs> there, 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 <laughs> so that's part of it. That's a little bit of part of it. You know, your show is actually built more like the Eagles line. Our show's built more like the Cowboys line. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier to get through. <laughs> so it's a little bit different, but it's all right. How old are you? 33, 33. Hey, very young looking guy. I, I, I tried to. Five, the last time the Cowboys made an NFC title. Uh, <laughs> what a setup. Uh, oh, wow. Yes, 89. 89. 80, well, I was six and a half. Do they not teach math in Dallas? <laughs> they do. I mean, I was homeschooled. <laughs> Jerry Jones couldn't tell you his age. That's true. <laughs> he probably oh, wouldn't gosh. be able to do that. We love, we love it, though, because the Dallas rivalry, though, we have a lot of people in Philly area who, who love the Cowboys because if there was ever a blackout and the Eagles weren't shown back in the day when they sucked totally, um, you would always see Dallas games. So we have people in the Philly area that still support the Cowboys. And I got to tell you that uh, there's, a lot, there's, there's things we like about them. Dak Prescott, you're not going to hear us trashing Dak Prescott. Class act, man of the year, great job. Mm. But I do have to ask, since you're right at the sleep and everything, yeah. oh. how many – Big games could Dak lose if he slept on a normal bed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm always hearing about him. Oh, get that great sleep. What, what, if he, what if he slept on a normal bed? I mean, seriously, you guys would be – you'd be top of the draft and you'd be able to get a quarterback to lead you. Here's the problem. I think you wow. see Justin Jefferson and other individuals also use the sleep number bed, and so they're leveling up too is the problem, I think. That, that probably is. There's a little bit of a competition factor. Jalen Hurts, he levitates. He's just so – he just he's so chill. He's so cool. He just levitates. Right. Everything, he does everything everything with his legs because he can't do anything with his arms so that's where the talent is. Is, is is i believe he's playing this weekend i think i got a game to watch this weekend so he is playing uh somehow though i have no problem with patrick mahomes being the mvp though you're you're okay with that and you're okay with nick sirianni not being coach of the year no i'm not worried about that because brian dable literally had a negative point differential he got his ass beaten three times by the Philadelphia Eagles. Nick Sirianni in the games that he cared about beat him by a collective like 40, 50 points. <laughs> and somehow he's the coach of the year. Please. See, Sirianni, uh, do you, you got to admit the theatrics are a little much. What do you mean? The, the This. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, turn the, let me turn the fan camera on. Hold on. This. Oh, that stuff? Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say to you. If anybody's surrounding the Dallas Cowboys – tells me theatrics are too much yeah. you guys have yeah. more drama than yeah. days of our lives uh -huh. seriously except on days of our lives people come back from the dead and occasionally come back to life yeah they actually oh, get God. the redemption story they get the angle no, you guys just don't get that but you will eventually it will come around all things come around now you're 32 30 okay Right around Social Security, if it's not bankrupt, oh, you stop should it. see something. <laughs> oh, you're, you're talking R.J. Choppy's language. Yeah. Bankrupt. Oh, right. Security. Get him out of here, We're buddy. getting rid of that thing, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you for the cigar. Thank you, buddy. We appreciate it. We do love 105.3 The Fan in Dallas. That's the station to listen to. Thank you. John you are King, the best. John Kincaid. Right. They're literally throwing a party right now before the game. They're handing out chips. They have cigars. They have Eagle mascots. And I, and I will say this, and it'll get me in trouble. 
Oh god, I like these guys better than even our Odyssey partner. Dude, they've been very nice all week. They like, have been. like like I mean they do they we're doing the troll bit and everything, but like they they gave Choppy a charger, they give us cigars, yeah. they they make nice conversation. They just, I was just, I mean I maybe I should uh put him for a transfer to and, Philly. And, they and, they love Dak. I have to say, these are by far the healthiest chips I've ever looked at. Hey, do you hers? Want, I do, didn't know hers was a Philly. Th I thought yeah. hers was national. Do you, no, no. But it, I grew well, up in Maryland. Do you guys want me to run down these guys in their pajamas? Over here? Not really. No. You I mean, don't want me to talk to them? Okay. Let's, where, get let's, some let's big just dogs. move around. Oh, okay. All right. Tell us where you are and where you're walking. To. Okay. I mean, you can ask them one thing, and then we'll see if they're silly or not. I'm in the field, gentlemen. Oh uh, we're, we're, we're walking around. We're walking through sets. Uh, it's starting to populate. Uh, we've got uh, – here's here's our pajama day. Uh, and Look at that. That is a full-on – can you put the eagle head on for me? Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. That's beautiful. Go, birds. Okay, and then look at this guy. Look at that. That is, would you? Suit. We're a mummer in Philadelphia. So if you remember when his big speech last time our birds won, he had a mummer suit on. This is a Philadelphia mummer suit. Can you explain to me why this isn't a nightgown? <laughs> this is a Philadelphia tradition. It's the mummers thing every New Year's Day. We do this in Philadelphia. And Jason, Kelsey, and our birds love our mummers. And I bought some vitamin M, our mummers, for our go birds. I'll be honest, it looks like something Helen Mirren wore in the evening scenes of the Queen. <laughs> and so, I mean, it just, Helen it's a, her shoes, look at those gold shoes. Golden slippers, they're golden slippers. Wait a second, what is it? Every New Year's Day, and they're going to bring our eagles a victory. All right, stop. Do you have a question, Sean? No, I don't have a question. Okay, no questions, all right. Uh, look, Shut them down. What, what, is, what is that that Bassick is showing us right now? He's showing us a 2000s Mike Bassick. Hang on, stop. Can you can, can I go back and read what it is? Oh my gosh, guys! There's a uh, Mike Bassick signed jersey. Phillies game worn majestic jersey. You played for the Phillies? Oh, the minor ah. league. Were you in Clearwater? As they say. Oh yeah, I just heard that. Accent. I haven't heard any cuzzes, cuz. Co uh, clear, Clearwater. Cuz. Let's get Mike's microphone, DJ. Let's get his volume. You oh, can't. he can't when he's on. Okay. He's got to go to. He's got to go to my mic. All right, Bobby, what are you? Where, where are you at now? Uh, so this is interesting. A Donovan McNabb jersey. Like, if you're gonna flex on being an Eagles fan, wouldn't you want to wear a Nick Foles jersey or one where they actually won? Uh, I think that's interesting. We got the PFF set up here. Uh, I meant to print off a Trayvon Diggs picture and leave it over. I was going to print it and put it over their PFF logo, uh, but that was unfortunate. I, I did not remember that. Uh, we oh, I should go walk over here. It looks like Good Morning uh, Football is off uh, off the air, so maybe we can uh, run down like Peter Schrager. Do they? Something. Do any of them know that you work for the NFL Network? Probably not, because they're out of the. Um, I think they're New York is where they are, or New. I don't remember. They're, they're, they never leave the set, yeah. and I've never gone to the set. So, Bassett, so. what's your Philly tie? Oh, I played for him in spring training in 05. So I went to big league camp, but ended up being a Scranton Wilkes-Barre Red Baron the whole season. Oh, the Red Barons. Corey, did you try their famous potato chips, their salt and vinegar chips? Yes. Yes, I did. And, uh, and I think DJ was like, the face you just made means uh, you needed that. And, I, and, yeah, man, they're fantastic, actually. Her, hers are great chips, though. Like, I've watched the whole, like, how it's made on them and everything. You needed that like you're hurting from last night? I'm not, I'm not feeling great. I'm not... Like, you did some damage to that Emmett tequila. Yeah, but then mm -hmm. I left and didn't do anything else for the rest of the night. I went to the concert and everything. So I'm just, I think I'll, I walked in the cold all night. I didn't take the train. I just walked. Yeah. I think I got a little chest cold going on right now. A but man, those cold. chips are fantastic. I'll eat all the chips. Hey, look, if they're going to bring me chips, I'll eat their chips. They're all right. Those chocolate bars yeah. and cigars and chips. Like, I don't know if they're killing kindness or already celebrating. Yes, that's here. that's correct. They're, they're, already they're, they're already celebrating. They're much better than than our sister station, like WIP. What do you think it would? My be? dead grandma, to Angela. <laughs> what do you think this place would be like? Whether it's Phoenix, whether it's Las Vegas, whether it's wherever, if the Cowboys ever did make the Super Bowl, there's never oh, been like a radio row with the Super Bowl. Be nuts over. Like I don't know, in '94, '95, I mean, they had a huge radio row. It wasn't big, but they had them. But it probably okay, wasn't yeah, huge. Maybe like 15 stations or something like. There's never been – I just wonder how much energy there would be if the Cowboys made a Super Bowl. Dude, there was tons of energy yesterday. Like, you, yesterday was the, as insane as I've seen it in my two times to be at the Super Bowl. I know yeah. you guys have been in other stuff, but yesterday, I think that the, was buzz normal. The, the buzz of the Hall of Fame, you had a lot of the stars rolling through, like Montana and everything. Man, I can't. Bobby, where are you right now? Uh, I'm over by the uh, Westwood One set. Uh, Nate Burleson is finishing up an interview. Do you want me to try and grab he's him sure, as man. he's done? Yeah. He's great. Right. What should I ask him? Nickelodeon. Uh, if he, if he, what, what's in the slime? Did Kay Adams bring up Corey's name? Yes. 
There you go. Oh, would he know that though? Because he's not on. That's the yeah. point. Okay. You just be like, "What did Kay say about Corey?" <laughs> All right. And leave, <laughs> and leave it like that. Because uh, he, she did talk about Nate on our show, Jen. How how social he is. They're two different personalities. She's a personality that's introverted, and she needs like. Man. Something to re-energize, and he's just like he feeds off other people's energy. I can't stop just looking over here, like at, looking at Darren Woodson. Bro, Scott Murray is sitting here Who's on that? one of the, the old NBC Five Sports what? anchor. What are you serious? Really? He's dead serious. He, what? What? Can you I'm ninety percent sure it may not be Scott Murray. It just looks somebody. Oh who's, my, hey, I thought I saw Bobby. Scott Murray yesterday too. Okay, I think this is him then. Is Scott Murray famous? Around Dallas, he is. All right, bring it. Get, He's he's going on the radio, so like, but I'm just looking well, at him. Well, yell yell his name and see if he hurt, turns he his head. He was okay. newy for like 30 years. Scott Murray. No. There you go. He turned around. Wait, so he was did. it him? Uh, uh, yeah, he turned around. All right, he, so, he he gave me a very uh, aggressive blow off though. It looked like he was not happy. All right, so who was Scott Murray? He was uh, he was Newey's uh, Newey took over for him at NBC Five. He was at NBC for years. Also oh, sports. Yeah, he was their yeah. sports anchor. For Bigger than Dale. He, Not bigger than Dale because no. Dale did the Cowboy games. It was it was mm. but he it was him and Dale like they were yeah. they were the two two big guys around here. It was uh, Scott Murray, Brian Jensen, and Nui Scruggs. All right, let's go wireless for the rest of the show. Uh, we got Corey Majors, R.J. Choppy, Bobby Belt is in the field. Mikey, you should go over. He will, Mike will love the next guest. Did oh, you get Ke the clearance? Yeah, yeah. He said we, he can talk for a minute. Okay. If I go over there. Mike, All right. Tell Mike who it is. It's Kevin Clark from The Ringer, Slow News Day. L let's go. You know him? Kevin Clark, The Ringer. Mike doesn't know. Never Mike mind. Mike looks very confused. Okay, so Bobby has the fan cam, Twitch, and YouTube. Go over there, Bobby. Let's talk Kyrie. He does a lot of sports stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, let me. I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to just get a quick shot of Sean Payton for everybody on the fan cam just so that they can. So Sean Payton, Sean Payton is actually trapped into all yeah. of his media obligations. You yep. You don't He's, know this guy from the Ringer? He does good basketball work. He does everything. He, hey, just this hey, is this call, is and now. Let's be clear here, Sean. This is not Kevin O'Connor. This is Kevin Clark. But Kevin Clark is very good. Oh, never mind. Call Sean call. Payton, Kevin James. Go <laughs> Are say, you being dead serious? Say no, hey, no, no, Kevin no. James. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I okay. want you to go ask him about Kyrie. But I do want to know if Sean Payton actually listens to the station. All right. All right Someone told us that. Let's let's see here. I'm going to switch it over to selfie cam. We're going to walk over here. Okay. We're going to come over. And we're going to say hi to Kevin Clark from the Ringer. Really quickly, Kevin Clark, uh, 105 Feet the Fan. How you doing? What's going on, guys? We're uh, we're very excited. Our our host back at the uh, station. They want to know what you think about uh, about Kyrie Irving to the Mavericks. Well, obviously, uh, being a Magic fan, um, I understand that the Magic are the big dog of the NBA. So everybody's trying to get <laughs> uh, trying to get there. I would say that um, Kyrie to the Mavericks. Uh, I lived in Brooklyn until very recently, and uh, at no point did I see there was any evidence of an NBA team there. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> nobody, nobody really goes to the games uh, other than the opposing fans. Um, and so I'm, I'm intrigued to see uh, Kyrie in that, in that market in a, uh, in a Western Conference that's really packed. Like I, I don't know, I don't know where this is going. And obviously the Suns are going to win the West. I think anybody who can threaten them is in the East right now. Um, I just think he's probably just going to be sort of a jerk, and uh, we'll see if anybody <laughs> cares or notices. Best slow news day interview this week? Wow, we just had Sean Payton talk about the chips and the balls. Um, he blew the, the thing Ooh. wide open. He what? Blew it wide open. What did he um, say? What did he say? He said, we're going to get him. He said, we're going to get him. He said, we could, we're going to be able to help the officials. He said, the thing that annoys him the most is when you go, um, when the punt goes out of bounds, and the referee's just guessing. What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, the chip in the ball is going to solve all the problems. So we are getting the chips in the ball. I mean, it's uh, the chip is in the ball. They're just not using it. Oh. Hey, he's a Magic he fan, brought right? The chip. He had the chip in his pocket. He had mm. the chip in his pocket. He showed it to you. Chip in, yes, he brought it out. On the, we're going to get it out here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, he he it was it was it was wonderful. Slow news day. When does that release? Uh, a little later today, probably. Justin Fields was excellent yesterday. Stephen A. Smith was excellent. Trevor Lawrence was really good. Matthew Barry. We've had it. We've had. What's his really favorite? Magic ask trip. him how he's getting all they, these guests. They they uh, they want to know how do you get all these guests, man. Um, Hair, the hair, the hair. The hair. The hair. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a close up of the hair. I, um, I, what, what I tend to do is I just stand in the middle of radio row here. They, they put a spotlight on my hair, and then people just sort of come over and just say, "Can I, can I come on here?" It's like the North what? Star for the yeah. wise men. What of the was Bible. that? And now on your show. What did you show? He said show. I'd love to come on 15 minutes on behalf of Subway, and it's, it works. That, it, that makes sense. All right, Kevin, appreciate you, man. Does he have a wand? Ask him if he has a wand. Just one last question. They would know. As a Magic fan, do you have a wand? 
Do you do card tricks? Um, or Vuvuzela? We're issued wands at birth in, in Orlando. We have a wand. <laughs> Top hats, I would say, are the more common sort of thing we have to wear around town as magicians, uh, as we call ourselves. But, um, no, I, I, uh, I, I, my wand is actually back home in Orlando. I when he I leaves a room. When I left home. All right, Bobby, wrap um, it up. But it does smoke it's blow up. Blow it up. Years of life. Blow it up. All right, thank you. Appreciate you, Kevin. Appreciate right. you, Corey. Uh, so now we're going to turn it around. Corey trying to hijack everything. <laughs> That's what, that's now, yeah, this isn't even your segment. You're supposed to be on for 940, Corey. Come I'm, on, man. People I'm, were saying best, worst moments of the week on the fan text. It was Tony Dorsett and the Earl Campbell interview worst? that people loved the oh, most. Man, it was great. It really was awesome. Uh, they they had a, a great friendship back and forth. You could kind of tell that. And uh, and then like just sitting here talking to these guys is really cool because you get to listen to what they know about the game, the way they pursued it. And they were really – it was – I think Mike pointed out, you could tell that they still had this competitive nature with each other because these were two guys that were competing against each other wow. whenever they were playing, but they were they were really close friends, man. They were awesome. They were fantastic. Well, that's Bassick showing me his Tony Dorsett autographed football card. Did I he autograph it I yesterday? How, so how, how much does that increase the value just off of that, do you think, Mike? Is there any way to Is know? Is it authenticated? Well, I'll get it authenticated, but it's probably a fifty dollar card now. How do you get it authenticated? You can't you can even take a picture into... and be like, "He did it." Well, <laughs> you can, but you have to trust that person. Um, you just get it authenticated by there's JSA, there's BGS, there's PSA. Did you bring all your cards out here? And have you been able no. to make any BDS, deals? Sam. Ask him who I he got... didn't uh, get. Ask him that's to sign an autograph. Oh, I w- there's no because like, did you bring an Emmett Smith card? I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, I know he's not going to sign, and he'll be furious if I ask. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. He is not going to sign. I got a Jake Plummer autograph, but I unfortunately got it in a bad pen, so it didn't really show up. So he Emmett did would not twice. sign unless there's like, oh, something Emmett. for him. Oh yeah, there's, there's it's. Who else is like? You ever that? seen my banner on Twitter? The the banner I have, it's me and Emmett Probably Smith doing an interview together. Bill Russell was like that. That day, Armin was walking him up to to come interview with me, and somebody said, "Hey, can I get an interview?" And he said, "This is neither the time nor the place." But Man. he'll take a picture with you, but he won't autograph. All right, because he doesn't want to make you making money. All right, Bobby, it. where are you now? Uh, so we're walking around. I've got Sean Payton still here talking. Kyle Brandt, uh, Peter Schrager was over there, but he was being cornered by like five people so we're just kind of floating right now um let's see where we can find some other people so i really want to talk to scott murray i'm just going to walk by and let you see him uh because he's messing with his phone and he's doing an interview but it's scott murray and so for people who are uh from dallas i'm they very will excited appreciate. about this i've okay. never heard of this guy okay ready i'm gonna be sure. very sneaky are, probably are you retired are you looking on the fan cam ni- sean ask him what it was like to hit oh, three thousand t- uh, times in baseball is scott murray gonna be our like Whale? Watch. The whale of whales? I, I, I don't think he's going to be the whale. I didn't, I didn't know he was alive still. Oh, but here, so Bobby. Here Bobby. Was, don't get yourself in trouble in the final segment. Right there. There he was. There he was. There he was. He was in the, the – he, he – Dude, you should not be afraid to get, talk to, you know. Well, he's in the middle of an interview. I can't, I, can't, heard, I can't mess him up while he's in from, an interview. I wouldn't be scared to talk to him if there's a break. He's in an interview. I've heard from people that know him that he might not be the most cordial guy. Oh, well. So. I mean, has been. What's he going to – well, I mean – What's he getting? Well, his ego should be shrunk a little. Whatever, bit. <laughs> babe's, babe, babe was better anyway. <laughs> um, babe was better. All right, Sean Payton's a bit. About to, <laughs> hey, oh. Sean Payton's about to be okay, on the okay, move. Okay, I'm right, coming. There he goes. I'm coming, there he goes. I'm going him down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, does he really listen to the radio? Say he. You gotta. You gotta go fast. How do you want me to say? You gotta run. Like, coach, 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 Kevin James. Yeah. Kevin James. Yeah, yeah. I, I still can't believe he allowed that to happen, Choppy. The Kevin James thing. Yeah. I mean, look. Although you can say you had a movie made about you. You had a movie made about you. Kevin James is a fine actor. Fine actor. Wonderful comedian. Oh, my gosh. He's about to sit down again, and then we're going to lose Would Kyler Murray chill? on the other side. <laughs> no, it's not Kyler Murray. It's Scott Where Murray. Is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> he's in the corner. He's over in the corner. Go up to him and say, hey, Sean Peyton Manning, how's it going? Hey, Did I say nobody bump, puts Peyton in the corner? Bombard him. Bombard him. People love to be bombarded. Scott Mitchell's on the move. Do what oh. I did to Jim Gray. Scott Mitchell is on That's the move. A, no, it's not Scott Mitchell. It's Scott Murray. All right. All right. I think we're going to get mad at him just messing around with this. I don't think so. All right. Here we go. Here's the moment. Oh, here goes. Can you say hi to 105 Feet the Fan in Dallas? No, he said no. Oh! He handed you! He gave the stiff arm! Oh, 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 the stiff arm! Oh, baby! The so arm. he gave you the Heisman. So look, Peyton heard wow. the reaction, so he turned around to see where it was from. Like, what, was so that you from guys, him? You guys, you guys screwed me. Yeah, well, it, we know, prefer wow. McCarthy! <laughs> <laughs> Your resume is the same. That's all he is. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's Mike McCarthy with a better publicist. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> 
That's all he is. He's the, no, I'll, I'll take Macar- re- I'll take McCarthy and pocket the fourteen million he's, annually. He's thank got, you. Your resume is the same. He's Mike McCarthy with better PR. <laughs> That's what Mike, oh, 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 we're yeah. embarrassing Mike. Oh, now we're embarrassing Bassick. I enjoyed that. Oh, that was oh good. guys, 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 guys! They're inter- guys, they're interviewing Tua. To a talk about a uh, yeah, look at this hey, guy. Hey, hey, Demarcus Ware is coming around the corner. There's Tua. Uh, by Caesars. That's, hey, tell Demarcus that oh, I did okay. right, right. with him. Let's congratulate. Oh, oh, but he's about to be exactly aligned with Darren Woodson. Dang it, he got to Caesars. Do we run up and congratulate D. Ware oh with Darren God. Woodson right next no, to him? Yo, hey, D. Ware, congratulations, man. Hell yeah, Darren. So sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're Let next to here. each other. Let me get up here. This is... Let me get up here. Say, get, get Woody. Get Woody hold to on. say hello. Hold on. Hold on. I believe in hold you, on. Bobby. Woody's the best. Beware. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame for 105. Hey, how you doing? We're happy for you, man. <laughs> oh, hey, all right. Okay. He, he said, hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. All right, so there's the moment right there. That's what we need Bobby. a picture of. Tell him Demarcus- Jim's too expensive. He said it into the microphone. DeMarcus so Ware is hugging Darren Woodson. Uh, gosh, I feel so bad for Woody today. Do you think that was a, 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 <laughs> Shut up. Think that was a sympathy <laughs> hug? Is that what that was, a did, sympathy hug? Did you just take shots at someone's gym? By the way, guys, this is definitely Friday behavior. I would not be doing this on, like, Tuesday. Well, no, you, you, do, you, you do what we you tell you to do. Yeah, you would have done it on Wednesday because you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, why do you look so Your surprised? Holy, holy moly, you guys are dropping all of the bombs. We're going right out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, we're going guys, right. Guys, 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 this guy looks exactly like Wolchuk. Where? Right over there in the beard. Is that? Like, I'm going to walk by him. Is that going to appeal to him? He doesn't know. Oh, yeah, he, he does. does look like Bobby, 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 hmm. interview him like Wolchuk. No, no. <laughs> no, no. They're, they're in a very say, serious production meeting. Ask him, where's Cheech? Just go, go right Cheech? up and say, where's Chia Follow? <sighs> You're trying and, to get me killed. And then, and then second question, was the Mexican restaurant really that overpriced? <laughs> oh, wow. Because <laughs> we went to, we had a bad meal. It was like a $50 Why are you trying to get beat meal. up? Terrible yeah. meal. It was a bad, you're the one who said, oh my God, it's it's Zach. It's it's." I just said it looks like Zach. That's all I said. I would just go up and be like, so is treating you well, man. Uh, <laughs> you can start with that. So this is going to be like a one-sided interview. This is, and this is a like, very <laughs> serious-looking production meeting. Is, okay. I think they're going to yell at and me. And this is for Sports Illustrated, I guess? Yes. Okay. I don't can't see talk to here, the though. Eagles umbrella guy? What? You don't want to talk to the Eagles we already umbrella guy? We already okay. did. We already yeah, did. we talked to him last segment. Um, they're killing us with kindness, Clark man. Gables, that they're is? giving us potato Clark chips. Who was just singing in the rain guy? I just Gene Kelly? Whatever, same thing.